Hey, it's Smithy from Soccer M, back on Spurred On. My video today, I'm gonna to look at top five Spurs geezers, the ones that you'd love to go down the pub with, spend a day with, the banter brigade, the ones that we all loved supporting the most. My fifth favourite Spurs diamond geezer goes to Stefan Freund. Now, some of you might think this is a bit of a weird decision, but I'll explain my reasons. This man had over 100 caps for Tottenham and he never scored. Now, he was a good player, he was a great player, in fact, but there was a reason why Spurs fans loved him. And it wasn't because he was the best player at the time, necessarily, but he gave absolutely everything and loved playing for Spurs. And for those of you who used to go to games regularly when he was playing, you'd know that he used to always, before the match, half-time, and even when a ball went out for a throw and be seen doing this, G in the crowd up, He'd be one of the first players also to go up behind the goal and clap the Spurs fans every single game. Uh, he's just a quality, well-liked Spurs player. Someone that you're proud to say, yeah, he plays for Tottenham. Uh, he also went to watch Tottenham play after his career at Old Trafford. He didn't sit in the prawn sandwich brigade or a box. He sat in the away end with Spurs fans and joined in Spurs chanting with his kid, which I think is fantastic. That alone is reason enough for him to make my list. My number four Spurs geezer goes to Neil Razor Ruddock. Uh, in terms of people I'd like to go for a drink with, partly because I have been for a drink with him, I know him quite well, uh, it is Razor. Let's face it, if you are with him on a day out or a night out, he's a good person to have your back because he is absolutely massive double R now. He's also got a tattoo uh, of Tadarius to do, the Tottenham uh, crest on his arm. He still loves talking about Tottenham, loved his time. They had two spells at the club. Uh, he's just a great guy, got so many great stories. I mean, I filmed something for him on Soccer M once where we had to eat, we tested uh, the hottest curries in England with him and he had five different curries that he worked his way through. True story, at the end of the shoot, he said to me, Smith, are you gonna stay for some lunch? And he actually stayed, and he was being serious, to have a curry. He just eaten five curries and he stayed for a vindaloo. He's a great bloke, love the fact he played for Tottenham, he's my number four. My number three Spurs diamond geezer of all time is, I'm gonna go with Peter Crouch. And I've got a lot of reasons for this. Uh, I think Crouch is one of the most liked and respected footballers in the country. It's, he's one of those players that, regardless of who you support, everyone seems to love him for a lot of reasons. Uh, his record for England was unbelievable. He scored some massive goals for Tottenham, but in terms of his personality and his banter, there's very few players his size that can rock out the robot as well as he did. When asked what he'd be if he wasn't a footballer, he said probably a virgin. Absolutely brilliant answer. And let's face it, if I was to go on a date or a night out with him, he'd probably bring Abby Clancy, who's an absolute worldie and we all love. So it's win-win all round. Cratch is me number three. My second favourite Spurs geezer of all time is Sandro, because what a personality and a character he is. He is someone that epitomises team spirit in a changing room. I know him very well. He is a top bloke. Um, and... Wow, where do you start with him? I've filmed the guy doing karate in his own house, doing a handstand. I've also filmed him doing a pub gig going to an open mic night with a guitar. He didn't really have a Scooby what was going on, but he did it. And he also turned up to my 30th birthday party. I only invited him four hours earlier in the day and played an acoustic set for four hours in front of 50 people. Let's be honest, how many footballers would do that? Not very many. Sandro, what a man. My favourite ever Spurs geezer, personality, person, whatever you want to call it, is of course Gazza. And uh, it's fair to say he wins this by a hell of a long way. This is the man who played something like two hours of tennis the night before a World Cup semi-final match against Germany. Uh, he dived into a lobster tank during a night out, during a meal with, with uh, friends, family, to get a lobster. Who does that? I think he's climbed to the top of White Hart Lane, he's hid snakes in teammates' bags, he's hid fish in teammates' cars. Uh, he signed for Spurs on the promise that his sister would get a sunbed. Uh, he, he's driven off on the team's coach, driven a team's tractor during training. He's just one big prankster. He used to wear wigs to emulate other players. I mean, the list was endless, but he wasn't just a great person. He was also an unbelievable player who everyone loved having in their corner. Everyone loved Gaza. He was an unbelievable player, an unbelievable personality. I still think he's the greatest Spurs player we have ever had. Uh, and he is, without doubt, my number one. So that was my top five Spurs diamond geezers. Don't forget to comment in the box below. Let us know who you agreed with, who you disagreed with, and who you think should be in that list. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Spurred On, and check out at Spurred On TV on Twitter. I'll be back soon. Hey, it's Smithy from Soccer M, and I'm back again on the one and only Spurred On, and I'm gonna have a bit of fun with this video. I'm gonna tell you my top five Tottenham Hotspur Terrace chant. 